Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Tinker77. We are back on the Reef server today. This is early in the morning on Sunday for me, so I apologize for my voice. This is episode four, I believe, and we're going to start off right away doing a mining session. I need some resources, so I'm down here in the mine. Now, I did go down here during a stream. We got some more resources, which is really good. Uh, but what I'm looking for really is cobblestone because I need to have some cobblestone to make stone. I don't have a silk, silk touch pickaxe yet, which is bad. So uh, maybe we'll get some levels we can get one. But I really need to get some cobblestone so I can turn it into stone for a build that I plan to do at least partially this episode. So we're going to start off right away. So you know the drill. Uh, basically, go down in the comments section. Put what you think I would get. Ooh, look at that. That's a good start right there. Put what you think I'll get of lapis, of diamonds, of the any of the other precious resources, and just see how you do at the end of the uh, episode. Compare what you think I got uh, to what I actually got. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Well, that was fun. I did a lot of mining and it turned out to be a pretty good run. I had to keep coming back to this chest to store stuff, but you can see what I got here. I got almost a full stack of diamonds, 62 diamonds, a bunch of coal, lapis, and redstone. You can see I also got some obsidian so we can make some more nether portals. And I almost got, well, I got three stacks of iron, a little bit more than that, and some gold, and a lot of cobblestone. So right now I'm going to take this up to the main base. And I'm going to start getting this smelted down and make some stone and get some things prepped for something that I want to do next. So I was going to start a different project today, but I think I've changed my mind because this furnace system, although great for, for the beginning, is not just cutting it right now. So we're going to work on a bigger smelting area. So if you go into my house over here, I've dug out an area down here and we're going to make this basically where I'm going to have kind of a super smelter, if you will. And so what I did is I have some various blocks here. I'm going to start to just make this room look right. I don't like the fact that it's just all yucky. So we're going to put in like a floor here, which is going to be stone slab. This is all going to be stone based um, for the structure and things. So uh, let me clean this room up and make it look nice and pretty. I'm hearing some zombie noises around. There's got to be a cave close, but I didn't find it. And that's okay. This shouldn't interfere with what we're doing. Now, I've made this room a lot nicer, as you can see, and I may have to go off and dig on that side a little bit, but not yet. We'll see where, where we stand. Um, I do have some other materials here, though, and so what I wanted to do is I want to make the front face of the machine here. So let's see if I can get some stairs. Um, let's go with 16 for now. Basically, I want to have like a little bit of a space here that you can walk around and do things. So here is where we're going to have the uh, stairs and over here we're going to have a chest I don't have it here a double chest okay but that's the first part and then let's see here let's go and put hmm. no that's not right I'm trying to figure out where I want to put things because if you have the double chest here I need five wide right okay that's that's good okay so this is correct okay we're gonna put another one of these here here and here okay and then on top of this we're gonna put some more stairs like this it's kind of like a, the interface for this particular machine okay and then uh that should be pretty good i'm going to put some more of these oak right here that looks pretty good so what this is going to do is we're going to have a basic smelting system that's scalable if you've watched one of my previous videos i did one i'm going to do another tutorial soon on how to do this but basically you have various sources for um, your item you want to smelt and your fuel and you have an output chest over here if that makes any sense so uh, I want to try to get this to be look right and work right so um, hey here we go hopefully this will work let me go get some more materials and we'll keep on building this so the idea here is that you have your source here and you flip this lever and it would send a mine cart with a chest on it up and go over and do all of what you need to do for the source. Same thing for the fuel and the output comes over here. Now, if I go back here at this door that I've made for access, you can see that basically these redstones are right here. So if I go over here, let's say turn that on, it 
turns on the redstone, which hits the activator rail. So then the minecart will be sent back, and it'll keep on going until we turn this off. Like that, okay? So what I've set up here is I have eight furnaces. I'd like this system to be at least eight wide, if possible. So we're going to see what we can do here. Now, you have to make sure you can get up to the right height before you do it. And that's part of the problem that I have to kind of figure out right now. So if we basically use some rails here... I'm not going to use power rails for now, but I'm going to see what we can do here. And then from there, let's see, let's go, um, I guess let's use stone for this. Okay. And we're going to go up to that point. Let's see. Uh, this is hard to do here. We want basically furnaces to be at this level right here. I'm going to put a, like a marker furnace, okay? Furnaces will be like kind of like right here. Actually, they'll be right here. Put that back. Because I'm going to go inward here. This is kind of planning on the fly, okay? So if we have the line, actually they can go back another one. Um, yes, they can. So let me, let me just put a furnace here. That's where the furnaces will be basically, at that level, at that point, okay? So we want to get above this because there's gonna be a hopper going into here, okay? If that makes any sense. So we want to go higher than that. Okay, so there's that and there's the first hopper. And then, so this system will start right there. Okay, let me grab this guy. Okay, so let me put the hot the uh, furnaces down, and we'll do that real quick. Right there's the furnace. Now, from there, we're going to use a powered rail right here, and I had some of these from when I went to the mine shaft. And from there, we should be good to go. As far as this, I might use all powered rails instead. I'm just specking this out for now. Okay, it kind of goes up. This will be a hopper. Let me put a hopper in here so I can kind of visualize it. Okay, got the hopper in here. This will be, actually would be fuel, not source. I got my sign backwards. Okay, and then up here, oh no, it wouldn't be. That's right, that's right. This is the line for the, this side. And then Oh my gosh, I got this all wrong. I gotta go up a couple more for the other things. This is gonna to have to move. Let me get this all spec'd out because I'm all confused and it's kind of hard to do while I'm recording. Let me get this figured out. Okay, I think I have this figured out. So here's the return line for all the source materials and I've ran out of hoppers, I gotta make some more. So this is all of the um, smelted items go into this output chest, okay? Now here, this line here is for the source material. It goes up three blocks and it goes on top of this hopper. And there'll be hoppers on top of all of these furnaces, okay? So that's what you want to smelt. And over here is the fuel. It goes up. It goes up here, and it's on a bunch of hoppers here, which go into the side, which is what you want for the other materials, okay? So I'm going to make up some more hoppers. We're going to do that in just a second. And then we're going to see if this thing runs, and we'll make this look a lot prettier and that sort of thing. So uh, hopefully you'll like this setup when we get done with it. Let me get some more hoppers. That's what I think, is the uh, big uh, hurdle right now. So I think the mechanism is complete. We're going to work on uh, doing a test of it now. And I'm just going to bring the stuff down here that we don't need. I'm going to just turn these furnaces off, take the materials. This stuff's going to stay here in this chest, but the rest of it's going to come with us. So let's just uh, get rid of this right now. Here we go. I know some of those fell down in there. We'll get that in a second. And uh, let's get these out of here. There we go. Because this system is now, I think, obsolete. There we go. Now a lot of this stuff has come in here. Let's grab those real quick. We don't need the hoppers in there either. And then what do we have here that we can redo? These things here can be reused. Okay. So let's go put this into the system and see what happens. Okay, we're going to go on down here. You can see we have the tunnel going down. We get down to this level. Now, source and fuel. Fuel, let's put the fuel in here. Okay, I am going to go with coal blocks first and then with dried kelp blocks. So I don't mind using either one of these. Most of the time I'll use dried kelp, but I have a lot of coal blocks. Then I hit this little lever and it should send it on its way. And what it's doing right now, it's going back and forth. You can see it running back and forth to these eight uh, furnaces and it's filling them up with the, the uh, fuel, which is what we want. Okay, so now right here, we're gonna start to put the materials Let's, um, I really need the, I said the stone for a project that I'm doing, so I'm just going to get all the cobblestone. Come on, get in there. There we go. Okay, and then I can even put like the, the gold and the iron in there too. Now, 
You can see none of the furnaces are on, but as soon as I click this level, lever, and there you go. All the furnaces are running, and that's fantastic. Now over here, I do not have any output. There's nothing in here yet. And as you watch, they'll start to come through as they get smelted down. So it's a little bit faster than having, there it comes right there. So it's faster than the, the two by two that I had. It's not as fast as some of the other furnaces that are out there, but it works. I just let it run and it'll continually to load up all my furnaces. See that? So that way we get the stuff a little bit faster than what we're doing and that's what I wanted. And so this system looks to be done. I'm gonna let it go for a little bit. Let's see here. You can always stop it. Just till I turn that off and then it'll stop right there. Have we unloaded? We have. Everything's gone. We don't need to run that anymore. Now this one, if you look, probably it's got more stuff. It's still unloading. So we'll just keep going. And we already have half a stack. So this is working out really, really nicely. I'm down in a, um, basically a zombie spawning area that has been set up on the server that you can kill zombies. They're over there, they're over there, sometimes here, sometimes there, and this has an enchanting area. And I'm here to enchant things. You can see here I've got a looting sword. I want to put looting three on it. I also want to get another pick that has silk touch, and I have all the books here. So I'm just waiting for things to appear and then to kill them. So when I get ready, I'll just go over here, get some experience. There we go. And you can see it goes up to there. I'm going to do the same thing here. Now with sweeping edge, I can hit multiple guys at the same time. It needs to go a little faster. So slowly we'll get the experience we need. And then we'll update this and get the pieces of equipment that I want. And then we'll go back to base. I'm back at my base. I'm trying to gather up some of these materials. Let's get some of this too. We're going to go to an area that I've heard is on this server that deals with uh, villagers and trading. And I think we, we can get some books there that we need. Specifically, I was only able to get mending, silk, touching, efficiency on my pick right here. And I would like to have the uh, Unbreaking 3 on this as well. And I don't know how many levels it's going to take to do that. So we're going to head off. I'm going to go to the area where those things are. And we're going to see if we can find anything and hopefully find Unbreaking 3. I'm on another one of the islands. This is a Mushroom Island. And there's this little ladder right here in the middle of a hole in the ground. We're going to go down this. This is the Tower of Villagers, it seems. Uh, villagers there are sent down to another section here. And then they have trading areas here. You can see all the signs are up there. We're looking for, see there's a Mending and Fortune 2, that's cool. We're looking for Unbreaking 3 on it, some of these. So let me go ahead and find this, and then once we do, I'll come back and show you uh, what we need to get it. It says this guy here has Unbreaking 3. If we look here, his trades. Unbreaking 3 takes 38 emeralds and a book. I believe we can get some books here, so we get a book. So we have to basically find somebody who can trade the various uh, vegetables and things. I might be on another floor. A farmer guy. Hopefully they saved a farmer. But we can trade. I'm not sure. Hmm. We have to get emeralds somehow. Is there a trader anywhere? I don't see one yet. I'm going to see if I can find a farmer someplace to trade with. we got to trade all of these materials here we possibly can trade to get emeralds. So let me find that. But at least we found Unbreaking 3. Here's a different guy with Unbreaking 3. And if you look here, it takes... 16 emeralds in a book, and I have traded enough of my stuff to get that. So let's do this, this, and here we go. There's our Unbreaking 3 book. Okay, excellent. Now we're going to go back to the uh, zombie spawner for EXP, and we're going to see if we can get finished off getting this Silk Touch with Unbreaking 3. And then I think we'll be about done for today. I should have the levels that I need to put this book on this pick. Here we go. And here's the book. 18 levels. We have 18 levels. And there it is. That's our other pick. Okay. I'm going to head back. Go up this water elevator. Head back to the base. Here we go. Whoa. Always fun. Well, everybody, I think that's all I have time for for this video. I meant to start another project, but I got sidetracked with this smelter. So I'm going to start that project in the next video. And that'll be fun to do. And we'll get a lot of the stone here and other things. So we'll have lots of resources. So anyway, that's about it. And once again, I can't see out of my helmet. <laughs> anyway, if you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. And if you'd like to be notified of the videos that I produce, please subscribe to this channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. It helps a lot. It really, really does. 
So until next time, everybody, thanks again. Have a great day. Bye-bye.